What's going on guys? Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the MaxSpec Jump DC Controllable Pump. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day and if you're new to what we're doing here this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And this week we're going to be taking a look at the new DC controllable return pump from MaxSpec. So let's jump into it. What's going on guys? So today we're taking a look at the MaxSpec Jump. This is the DC 10K and this comes in four different models you have the 6k the 8k the 10k which we have here and the 12k now each one of these pumps are uh, dc controllable pumps and max spec uh, really has made it very simple to use dc controllable pump the 6k moves 6,000 liters per hour the 8k does 8,000 10k 10,000 12k 12,000 as far as power consumption goes with these guys you have the 6k which uses 70 watts the 8k uses 90 watts uh, the 10k uses 100 watts and the 12k uses 120 watts now as far as dimensions go with these different pumps i guess out of the four units that they have available they use two different body styles the 6k and the 8k use the same exact uh, size pump as well as the 10 and 12k use the same size pump so this pump right here being the 10k we're going to be able to uh, see what the form factor of the 12k would be as well where the 6 and 8k are going to be a little bit smaller now as far as flow head or max head uh, the 6 and 8k are going to be in that 15 foot range and the 10 and 12 are going to be in that 16 foot range uh, which is a tremendous amount of uh, head flow for a return pump so let's go ahead and open up the 10k which we have here today and see what we get so we get the user's manual written in a number of different languages so that's always helpful uh, the controller nice looking controller has a little clip on the back got some pigtails going on labeled so you know what controller is what and as far as the controllability on this uh, you can turn it up you can turn it down it has feed mode which you can hit feed mode once it'll give you 10 minutes twice it'll give you 20 minutes three times it'll give you 30 minutes and then it has plus and minus uh, there's two different flow patterns available with this return pump as well you have constant mode which in most scenarios that's what folks are going to be using is that um, constant mode especially when it is concerning a return pump because in my opinion uh, you don't really want to mess with your flow patterns a lot especially if it, you're using this as a return pump uh, because that can cause problems with your overflow and water can end up on the floor so using the constant mode is going to be probably you know what 95 percent of the people that buy this pump are going to use it for the dc benefit of a return pump is that you can dial it in with a flick of a button you can crank it up if you need to if you're really trying to push that water through your sump or you can turn it down so that there's plenty of contact time with your skimmer and making sure that that water is getting really polished very well uh, so nice looking controller very simple uh, definitely uh, very functional as far as the return pumps go when it comes to return pumps you don't really need all sorts of different wave patterns and all that stuff it, it isn't really applicable uh, constant mode like i said is going to be the most frequently used function so it looks like we have an absolute ton of cord here for the return pump uh, we got our power cord for the brick we have the power brick itself pretty sizable you know there's 100 watts going to this 10k uh, so that's a pretty pretty large power brick there oh that's thoughtful all right so you got some cable management stuff here which that is i always love it when companies do that uh, you have your clip for your controller so you can mount that in place and take it off if need be and then you can sit you know a couple feet away from the pump with all that uh, cordage and be able to make adjustments accordingly uh, so the clip very easy to understand then you got some uh, cable management stickies in there 
some zip ties, we got screws for the clip. Looks like feet, rubber feet or something. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Is that for the pump? Yep, those are. So you got the rubber feet for the pump in there as well. Uh, so a lot of nice little items in there for your pump. Then you got your, man, that is slick. Has a almost a rubberized texture to it. Very interesting. Um, so you have a couple different things that you can do here. You know, you can use, um, I'm gonna say that's inch and a half, and that is inch and a quarter. I don't know if it's marked anywhere, but that, yep, that looks to be about right. Uh, so you can, depending on what you're plumbing, you're going with, um, it's as simple as just take this coupling off and put it to whatever uh, one that you are looking to use. And then you have the Jump 10K. That is a nice looking return pump. This has to be probably one of the best looking return pumps I have ever seen. It's got a good amount of weight to it. Uh, the specs on this as far as the weight goes, uh, this is almost four pounds, this return pump. Very simple, nice looking. I'm very impressed with the overall look of that. Max Spec continues to impress me. Uh, some of the products that they've been putting out over the last couple of years is just phenomenal. Uh, the Air Aqua Duo, the Max Spec Gyre Pump, just absolutely phenomenal products. Um, definitely a high quality when they're putting uh, thought into their build. This whole return pump, that's a nice foot. Pick up that vibration real good. Goes in there without any problems at all. The whole pump feels kind of like it has like a rubberized coating on it, which I imagine is gonna be very easy to keep clean. Very, very impressed. So this is a 10K like we've already talked about, but the 12K is gonna be the same exact size. Uh, the only thing that's gonna change is its power consumption and its power output. Um, but it's gonna be in the same exact body style. Now the 6K and the 8K are gonna be a little bit smaller, um, but they're definitely um, gonna have this very sleek look to them, uh, much like the 10 and the 12K. So very, very impressed with the Max Spec Jump DC controllable pump. Uh, this is definitely a nice looking return pump. I like how simple Max Spec has made the overall configuration of this pump and the usability. You know, it's as simple as turning it on, putting it to the flow in which that is going to suit your system and leaving it alone. If you want to do some pulse motions with it, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, just check out the user's manual. But very, very good looking pump. Very impressed with it. Decent looking pump. Very impressed overall. That's what Max Spec does. They put out quality, good looking, easy to control equipment for your aquarium. If you want to take a look at the Max Spec Jump, the 6K, the 8K, the 10K, or the 12K, there's going to be links in the description below, which will bring it to Premium Aquatics where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. I want to thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week right here with a brand new product.